the air just short of your Raj. Punched off the back foot once again. Excellent effort from Yuvraj Singh. The ball was dying on him, but still went for that one. And in the end, stopping the ball. Shot. Beautiful shot. Just end for. Yes, when he can play shots like this, uh, sometimes you wonder why does he take those risks early on. Can be outrageous at times, but this is a proper cricketing shot. No problems whatsoever in dispatching that to the fence. Nice stride forward. Good balance when he makes contact. That's it, and taken. Extra bounce for Ashish Nera once again. The line very good. Afridi could not resist going for the uh, punch to the offside only manages the outside edge so india draw first blood well it's that length we were talking about just back of the length allow the ball to bounce and afridi was looking to hit the ball through extra cover not presenting the full face of the bat it was angled and ashish nahara he's a wicked thing bowler picked up the first wicket an important one shahid afridi gone for 17 pakistan losing their first wicket for 31 Shoaib Malik comes out to bat at number three for Pakistan. 96 matches. His career best, 143. That was against uh, India in the Asia Cup in Colombo. And now Nehra. And that's gone through for four, but it's gone off the bottom edge. He's not happy. And he's fired up. The rhythm is good for Nehra. He's working up some pace as well. So the swing, and he's giving his uh, vocal cords uh, a bit of an exercise as well. Great shot. It's a pretty unique shot that Salman Bhatt plays. It's almost like an afterthought. At the very last minute, there is bit of bottom hand then comes in terrific shot it's really a quality shot accomplished because of quality track this is a, a beautiful batting track and we can expect a run glut mama Kef, brilliant but direct hit will cost india a run It's all about pressure, and Mohammad Kaf wanted to keep that pressure on the batsman. Now, a throw at the non-striker's hand would have been more interesting than this effort. And he's got some good hands uh, when it comes to playing shots. That spoils the over for Patan. Five runs of it. 50 for one now. Shoaib Malik has moved to 12 of 11, Salman Bhatt 19 of 26. Irfan Pathan bowled a very good last over. The last ball just a bit too wide. That could have gone anywhere. Lucky escape for Shoaib Malik in the end. But you take that boundary. That's for sensibly played by Salman Bhatt. No fielder at deep fine leg. Well, we earlier saw Virinder Sehwag fine-tune the field positions on the offside. Forgot about fine-tuning himself at that position. Desperate effort, but the ball won the race. Direct hit. I think Salman but was for the slow down because Zahir Khan was in his way that could have been dangerous it seemed like he would make the crease but then Zahir Khan was in the way so that just 
slowed down Salman Butt. Showing a little bit of inexperience there, Salman Butt. He gave it up. He gave it up midway through. Just short of Mamakev. May have come from the bottom of the bat. Or that could have straight away gone to Mohamed Kev. This is the second time he's played that drive uppishly. Weight not properly balanced or going into that shot. Very lucky really to uh, be still out there. It's Mohamed Kev who uh, came very close of picking up a marvellous catch. Uh, very good running as he made his ground. He's quick between the wickets, Shoaib Malik. That is real pressure on the outfielder. Zahir Khan was attacking the ball, so he had to run that first run quickly. Makes his ground easily in the end. That's excellent running. Just the direct hit may have got him, but Zahir Khan probably quite unaware of the fact that they were going for the second. Oh, that's blazed through the offside with an offer and he's given it a real slap outside that off stump so Pakistan getting a move on just a little bit of room no chance for that fielder Sehwag to react he's too close in there 15 yards He goes straight away at edge. And he can't stop the boundary on that occasion. But so often after a drinks break, we've seen a wicket fall. Now that's an example of the extra bounce, Ravi. Now, probably deliberately done, he actually opened the face of the bat. Knowing that there's no slipper, that could have been uh, very, very dangerous. Now that's an attempt there. It did appear that he had managed to stop it, Dinesh Mongia, but it was a pretty decent effort. Beautifully executed. We've seen him play a couple of those shots on the offside again. Uh, the wrist work special. It's uh, not a kind of shot you see uh, played every day by all batsmen. Something different. Absolutely. Oh, that's a uh, well bowled. I saw him coming early. There was two in that as far as Shoaib Malik was concerned. He would have made it. But take a look at him. He really scampers through. A little bit of turn there. Flicked it fine. Tried to actually wanted to play it inside out, but eventually had to readjust. The wrist turn there from him. He's bowling well, Harbhajan Singh. Good pace. He's mixing it up nicely, not just trying to fire it in. Because he's bearing that pace, he's getting the ball to grip and turn. Yes, indeed. Lovely seam position. There is a bit of turn, flicking the pad, but that's another good take by Dhoni. Good movement onto the leg side by Dhoni. Here we go. That was the requirement. And he has got the maximum. Good shot to end the over. 103 for one, Pakistan. Well, embarrassment for Hariharan. He signaled a very stylish six last ball of the previous over. And then got a rude shock when uh, the third umpire showed. In fact, the fielder 
in the deep pointed it out this is the way he did it without consulting the fielder or making absolutely sure then the fielder in the deep tells him hey hang on <laughs> it's four and then he went on the walkie-talkie to the third umpire who confirmed that it was nowhere close to a six clear four maybe wrong pair of glasses great shot one of the best shots that is played an interesting way of hitting that ball through the covers on the offside Salman but well, that's the area he enjoys the most just back of the land true pitch true bounce trusting the pitch on that occasion and then rolling his wrist Desperate die by Irfan Patan, but he won't prevent that for the second boundary of the over. Once again, maneuvering the length very well, Salman, but to stay inside the line of that delivery in order to place the ball. Very fine away from the fieldsman at third man. Well, he should have been able to stop that one at this level. Harbhajan Singh to Salman Bhatt on 49. There's the Swifty. Really played well, the youngster. He was very watchful and very positive at the same time. what that message could have been get on with it or you're doing fine or basically this is now time I think big man is getting a little restless hands on his waist probably looking for some quick runs now the, that's another thing I come back to it it's 50 for Malik good solid innings there by Malik didn't quite get amongst the runs in the first two he'd be happy to have that under his belt now maybe play a lot more freer after this 50 is out of the way. He's gone for the big one. It's a very good shot. He's found the gap. Difficult shot to play against the off spinner. You're playing against the spin, so you had to find the gap, which he did. I think the message is now clear. Good use of the feet. Good hit into the gap. Nobody had any chance. Bit of a risk because you're going against the turn and you're playing with a relatively straight bat. That's a biggie. That's a big one. That's out of here. First six of the innings. Took him on. He knew what he was trying to do. Keep it outside the leg stump in those rough areas. Whatever there are. But wonderful use of the feet. But what a noise off the willow. It's perfection. The minute you hear that sound, you know it's really gone the distance. He loved it. Good use of the feet. Reached the pitch. Now a full toss, follows it up with a boundary. So Pakistan now really in top gear. Breaking loose is Shweb Malik. That boundary also gives them uh, their 150. They're 152 for one, so more in the mind of the Indian captain now. They have to put in a different strategy. That's straight, that's gone, that's six. Another one from Shweb Malik. He has this huge hit. It's almost predetermined that I'm going to go for it. If he reaches the pitch of it, goes through with the shot. One felt they didn't have much elevation on that one, but then it carried the distance. What a good, hard, strong hitter he is. That's straight. That's brilliantly done by Salman Bhatt. What a good hit. Terrific shot. The safest area on the park, over the bowler's head. Just that trifle fuller in length. And take a look at that. Getting that front foot out of the way. But the follow through of the blade was absolutely straight. That's put away through square leg. 
in fact to mid wicket Shweb Malik is on song Ifan Patan has been stung quite badly in this over well another most expensive over in this innings 12 went off Sachin and now already 13 in this over taken caught it's Shweb Malik who falls after the drinks break and it's Varinda Sehwag who once again gives India a breakthrough this time with the ball well he'll be disappointed Shweb Malik you can check from his body language he's devastated this was a short ball he could have placed it anywhere in the park but take a look at what he does off the back foot straight into the hands of Sachin Tendulkar who's really safe with those hands there at the boundary so wicket falls Malik goes to Sehwag for 75 it's 176 for two of runs at least Zaid Khan who gathers the ball good hard throw back to Dhoni <laughs> uh, that would have been a very good catch Salman but giving himself room and slicing it on the offside Zubrat Singh attacking it disappointed he didn't get it because he's such a good fielder he got two hands to it oh the big man down the track he's uh, mistimed it but it'll still go for six just for a moment you thought Harpajan might uh, get his hands to it yes it was Enzi's power which took the ball out of the boundary line it wasn't timed well, but high in the air. But the result was good. That's a lovely shot. That's excellent footwork. That's why he's such a dangerous player of six and a boundary now. It wasn't far from Yuvraj, but that ball was traveling. That six forced Verinder Savak to change his length on that occasion, and Inzamam was ready for it got into the position very early and then hit the ball very hard great batting from Inzamam shot beautiful shot no chance for the sweeper fieldsman at deep point to stop that one 206 for 2 Pakistan nicely played death touch and the youngster has picked up his 10th boundary. Well, he gets into the 90s and uh, a clever shot. He had to watch the ball very closely because this is a late adjustment. Literally sees it off the face of the blade. Again, the pull. And again, the placement. Uh, brilliant, but it's outstanding fielding there. That would have been a certain boundary and desperate stuff from Zahir Khan in the deep. He's been absolutely brilliant, Zahir Khan, in the field. He has saved so many runs today for his team. And this is not the first time. Making sure that any part of his body is not touching the rope. That might be a boundary because I just get the feeling. Now he's touched it there. Is he touching? This is going to be touch and go. I have a feeling when he first came towards the ball, he had touched the line. He's fine there. So just two runs. That should be taken. Chipped in the air. In Zamam livid. Nera has struck and a big wicket for India he was looking dangerous in Zamam
that's where Ashish Nehra is so good. He makes the thing happen for himself. Have a look. The ball deviating a little bit and Inzamamul Haq was looking to work the ball on the onside. The ball getting the leading edge. Simple catch for Irfan Pathan. Skipper goes. Playing a cameo. Pakistan 2-1-9 for 3. 193 matches for Yusuf Yohana. Good average, 41.86. Oh, just falling short of Dhoni. The slow ball from Zahir Khan. First up, that surprised Yohana. Good thinking. This is not the first time that we've seen see that seen that ball to bounce from that good length area right here we are Salman but on 99 he gets to 100 his second one there 100 both hundreds coming against India truly a great knock always great to see a youngster doing well that too against him Team like India, it has been a marathon innings under heat, under a lot of stress was Salman, but because he thrown away his wicket in a couple of matches, but this time he made it count. He's gone over the top and has picked the gap, one bounce into the advertising holdings. A dangerous player, Johanna, at this stage. Well, he knew exactly where the fielders were. There was this long on and then mid wicket, and he had to bisect it. And he had the presence of mind to know exactly where they were placed. Intelligent shot. This time, the umpire had a good look and made the right signal. A little, little risky for India to employ but in the Sehwag at this stage of the game off spinners can be hit with the spin quite easily played a straight drive this should be four good cricket from Johanna 10 runs already from this over brings up the 250 as well I would have rather opted for somebody like Sachin Tendulkar now that Salman but is back in the hut fielder was very square so an easy shot for Johanna Then the reverse sweep. This is going all the way. That's another four. 14 runs of that Sehwag over. It's 254 for four. Dangerous shot, but he'll get full uh, value for it. It's another good over for Pakistan. Nine runs of it. It's 263 for four. Because of this shot, Harbhajan Singh had a uh, few words to say to Irfan Patan. He was uh, a little late in reacting to that shot, reverse and there you see him uh, very frustrated. Starts off with a slow ball and it's been clouted for four. The typical Abdul Razak shot. Slow delivery picked up very early by Abdul Razak. And this time it was Harbhajan who was diving to stop that one. And off Irfan Patan's bowling. <laughs> the big full toss. Would have been no ball anyway. Should be no ball. Hari Haran on the button. It was a high full toss and so caught as dangerous by the umpire. So it's been warned. 
Irfan Patan, Juan for bowling that Dima. Matt making a beautiful sound there. This is as good a cricketing shot you'll see. Johanna is a class act. He's got such a range of shots. Just have a look at this. No need to stop. If you are Yusuf Johanna, you'd find class and style even at this death end of the innings. How well he crafted it away. Beautifully done. No need to slog, no need to look ugly. All class, timing and purity from Johanna. Another big full toss. This could be a problem. A second no ball and he won't be bowling again in this innings. There it is, Hariyaran enforcing the law. Two high full tosses and it could be banned from bowling in the innings and that's what has happened here. So Irfan Pathan taken off or been asked not to bowl anymore. The over will have to be completed by somebody else adding to the woes of Saurav Ganguly. Good shot. He's found the gap. There isn't enough power in the shot, but it will carry all the way for another four. These are good overs for Pakistan in the death. Quicker one from Harbhajan Singh. He overpitched it, and so an easy ball for Abdul Razak. He was looking for this whip, looking for this drive to the offside. A shot that he plays so well. Partnership 48 runs of 24 balls. That's a strike rate of 200. Last five overs, Pakistan have got 52 runs. India still not yet out of it. Even though Pakistan are running away with the show, but this pitch will not vary a great deal. Straight to the hands of uh, Rahul Dravid. So Johanna's innings comes to an end. Good little knock from Johanna, but Dravid has taken an important catch. Pakistan was just running away with the runs with his final overs. He had no choice really to go for this because he was in that zone, in that frame of mind, in that batting form, that everything he was touching was being converted to gold. Except for this one, one instance where it was taken quite nicely by the field in the deep. Gone for 43 Pakistan, 287 for five. He's a sweet cutter and puller of the ball, Kamran Akpal. Two balls in the over to go for Harbhajan Singh. Gets off the mark right away. Two ninety-one for five, and we are into overtime. Still five overs to be bowled. And that should be done. Nicely done by Kohli. Yuvraj picks up the wicket of Razak, looking to give himself room by chipping down, missing it, and a simple stumping chance. So a very good wicket to get at this stage. Extra bounds, uh, nicely taken. It was excellent stumping. Up the Razak trying to up the scoring rate. He's been picked up after scoring 18 runs. 291 for six. Yunus Khan comes out at number eight. The hero of the Test Series. Didn't play the first two games because... Uh, of injury not feeling too well still there is a chance for the Pakistanis to get to uh, over 330 but like you said they have to play sensibly now that sliced away should find the boundary just pull back inside we'll have to wait for the third umpire to see it 
He's just asked for the third empire. Have a look at it. It's Virendra Seva. Desperate. Well done. It's 295 for six. Chipped and should be taken. In the air, Dravid makes no mistake. So in the quest uh, of upping the tempo, Yunus Khan sacrificing his wicket. Well, he's really bored well as a hit hard under these conditions. And finally, he's been rewarded. Simple catch for Rahul Dravid. That short fine leg. And Yunus Khan's contribution is nine in this innings. 308 for seven Pakistan. Mohammad Sami comes out to the middle. He's not on strike. Come on, Akmal. He throws bad at everything now. Billy is not interested. He's in a good position. He reckons he's seen Sami coming home. So final over. And that's a good hit. Good start to the over. Boundary there for Kamran Akmal. In fact, Mohamed Sami. I think the players will be happy with this. At that size, uh, like I mentioned, he wants to keep the sun off his face. He still has a tan, though. If he had a smaller cap, I wonder what would have happened. Again, nicely struck on the offside. Run hard for two. Get it comfortably. Good start to the over eight runs of the first two balls. You can see the fielders in the outfield are being put under extreme pressure. The legs just don't have the energy. Well, the Pakistani batsman, especially Sami, is showing a lot of desperation to get as many as runs possible in this over. This is going to be easy. Ashish Nara finding the target and sending Muhammad Sami back to the pavilion. Well, he sacrifices his wicket. Uh, it's important that Kamran Akmal gets as much of the strike as possible. He was backing up, so he had to carry on. No problems there for the Part, raise the finger, Sami departs, another wicket goes down, 316 for eight. Three balls remaining. That's a good stop. Uh, Yuvrat Singh keeps the batsman uh, down to just a single. Just got word uh, from the match referee's room that play will start at quarter past one irrespective of what time this innings finishes which means this break could might just be for about 18 minutes in uh, between innings well, the fielding side won't mind it they'll be off the park but uh, can you imagine the umpires after standing there for four hours already three and a half four hours that's up in the air, another wicket. So another man will have to come out if this catch is taken, yes. Dinesh Wongia, the substitute, takes the catch. Rana Navid departs. So another two minutes will be added to this innings. Still one ball to go. Third wicket for Ashish Nara. And second batsman getting out in a similar fashion. First one was Yunus Khan. And this time, Rana Naveed without contributing. 317 for 9 Pakistan. So the last ball of the innings, finally. And that's uh, hammered back down the ground. Danish Kaneria is struggling. In fact, he completes the run. Third umpire not called for. Pakistan innings comes to an end. And it's a good total to put up batting first. 319 for 9 from 50 overs uh, 
We've been well into overtime. This is what happened after Inzamam won the toss. 101 for Salman, but 75 for Shoaib Malik. That was a good partnership. And then everyone uh, down the middle order contributing by going for their shots and uh, keeping the run rate up and ticking. And the Indian bowling today took uh, some tap. Ashish Nehra was uh, the best of the lot. He went for a few runs in his uh, final two overs. Three for 57. One wicket for Zahir Khan. Harbhajan Singh, one wicket as well for 57. But on the whole, it was the bat that dominated the ball. In catching position. There is always this temptation that, you know, stay a little defensive, let that asking rate, which is 6.4, go up. And then it will automatically put some pressure on the, the batsman. What happened there? The, was there an inside edge to it? Couldn't have been because it almost carried to the keeper. There was no huge alarms that were heard there. Well, he goes after that. <laughs> And have a look at his bat. His bat is broken right through the center. <laughs> it's not something you see too often. It's uh, obviously one of his favorite bat bats, which he's used for a long time. In the air, taken. Rana Navid strikes. Seva playing away from the body and have a look at the Pakistan team. The crowd stunned into silence. Afridi the catcher. And uh, the wicked Pakistan wanted. Seva dismissed early. Well, this is what the doctor ordered for Pakistan. They've been wanting to see his back early. Played the shot in the air and a good take by Afridi. From India's perspective, this is disaster. They needed a good start. They needed Seva to get quick runs. But he couldn't do it all the time. He's gone for two. It's six for one. Near or have any chance at all in this game. That's true. And we'll find the boundary. Good balance uh, from Tendulkar when he played it. See how quick this outfield it. Once it uh, beat the field uh, in the ring, it sped away to the fence. Nicely on top of it. That's what he needs, uh, three or four shots like that. They're in a damn good position now. And India has just won one out of seven played at this venue. Edged and taken. Sami has done the trick. He mentioned about the line and the length he was bowling again. Uh, further up to Tendulkar, playing away from the body. And uh, the outside edge taken, 100 wicket for Mohammad Sami in one day internationals and what a wicket that is outside edge couldn't quite control the back foot drive it got a little big on him hint of away movement and they are ecstatic Pakistan now feel that they are have got a stranglehold on this game Sachin gone for six it's 11 for two off the mark with a boundary just about reaching there might just help if he comes out in a in a positive frame of mind very obvious that they're not going to pitch it up to these Indian batsmen going to keep it that short of length that's another one gone tame dismissal outside edge and Yunus Khan takes a second catch the Indian innings uh, tottering at the moment. Three wickets gone. The captain departs. Disappointment again for Saurav Ganguly. Never really behind that one. The outside edge and straight into Yunus Khan's hands again. So a second catch for Yunus Khan. India really struggling. Sort of gone for four. 20 for three. Pakistan team has come back into this series with a bang. They were down and out, two down. They've set India 320 as a target. And isn't he happy? There's emotions being displayed there. India 20 for three. He's a good competitor. Run out of it. Well, that's gone off the glove. 
and into the fence. That came on quickly onto Dhoni. He let that one go. That's hit down the ground for four. That's a confident blow. The one thing with him uh, is uh, that he is always looking to be aggressive, Dhoni. Sami has picked up a wicket on the expensive side, but wickets are important at the start of uh, particular oh. innings. Oh, that's crash. That's a lovely shot. That was in his business area. What a shot. Let's have a look at this. Strong arms coming down on the bat. Great balance. And that's very mature stroke play. Defending, defending, and then one ball, as you said, in the business area. In a way, put a shot mid-wicket for Dhoni. With and he has pelted it away. Fair strike. Mohammed Sami suffering. And that shot also raises India's 50. That's gone in the air. This will be accepted by the keeper. And Rana Naveed strikes again and strikes goal for Pakistan. What a wicket. What a spell from Rana Naveed. Those expressions that you saw after this wicket tells you the story. This is a pull shot attempted, but this pitch we've been talking about it. Ramiz has got that extra bounce. It's a couple of min inches that make all the difference. Most batsmen realizing that, that a bit too late. Dhoni gone for 28, India 54 for 4. That's put away brilliantly. He doesn't have the pace really to bowl short. Of the Razak and Rahul Dravid really had plenty of time to thump it hard. I don't think this was an attempted short ball, he just uh, erred in length of the Razak, but what a great shot that is. Yes, it was good aggressive bowling from Rana Naveed and Mohammad Sami that uh, got them in this driver's seat. Ooh. Edge and taken, gone. Yuvraj Singh will have to leave the crease. It's Rana Naveed. Who is bowling a, a brilliant spell here? Four wickets now for him. Loose shot from the left hander. Nothing short in the end. May have been surprised with the length. This is an over pitch delivery. He wasn't looking for it. As a result, a bit late on that one. Good low catch by Kamran Akmal. Yuvrat Singh gone for one. And India sliding 66 for five. It's Rahul Dravid who's played a lovely shot through mid wicket. Such an elegant player to watch. That is what India need to do. Just carry on batting the way they've done. They've lost wickets, but if the scoring rate dips, they'll have no chance of coming back into this game. Going across and then playing away towards the onside. So you can see the run rate pretty similar, but. Oh, that's surprise, Dravid. That's taken. What a delivery from uh, Mohammad Sami. It's come out of nowhere. Dravid's an accomplished player. And to get him totally surprised is an achievement of sorts. Six down, India. And the ball is 16 overs old. Base, bounce, everything. And Rahul Dravid didn't have any clue about that one. Third catch for Yunus Khan in this innings. Rahul Dravid, after making 28, is going back to the pavilion. 82 for 6 India. Irfan Patan comes out. It doesn't help the organizers who really want the home team to play well. It's gone straight towards the side screen. One bounce. Brings up the 100 for India with a good authentic lofted shot. It was a good hit from Irfan Patani. He went straight, knew exactly how much that ball was carrying the spin on it. Got to the pitch and that made it extremely easy in the end for him to lift him straight back. It's 
another big one. It's perhaps the biggest six that we've seen so far. That's how big it was. A monster hit. Irfan Patan really enjoying himself with that length, with that delivery. One very rare and good quality. Nicely struck. This might just go all the way. Yep, it does. Terrific shot. Yusuf Johanna struggled hard to uh, beat the ball, but it was such a nicely timed shot that uh, the fielder had no chance in the end. One of the more difficult shots to play, and that too against medium pace. Back foot drive through mid wicket. Almost got there. Six wickets have fallen. So this is the ideal situation for him to come back, test his action out, don't try too much, just keep that arm straight. That's another massive hit. Second six for Irfan Patan. That's gone many a mile into the crowd. Looked so good. Picked it up perfectly. Good positioning, great follow through the bat. The follow through the bat, ending up right behind him, Irfan Patan. It's 141 for six. Good batting practice, a good score under his belt. Spent some time in the middle, no more care. In the air, taken. Well, it's all over for him now. That is good bowling by Danish Canaria. Tossed it up, invited the drive. And once again, Yunus Khan, the ball is following him today. Fourth catch of this innings. Good piece of bowling. That's the thing about a leg spinner, he can get a wicket at any time. And Yunus Khan is holding them all, so... The short fight by Kef is over. India have lost their seventh. Kef gone for 32, 143 for seven. The crowd's been uh, pretty organized. And goes for the big one. That's a good hit. Another six for Pathan. His highest score in one-day internationals, third six for him. And then second of Danish Canaria, he is looking to hit the leg spinner in that direction. He had a problem in the tests, couldn't quite read Danish, but now he's picking up leg spins well and hitting them perfectly. Oh, that's a... Uh, an appeal he reckons he's bowled him well Kamran Akmal is uh, very confident it's gone past uh, the front pad of Harbhajan Singh and uh, hit the leg stump he's very confident I think he's out here yes indeed the, there was the sound of timber when the ball passed went right across Harbhajan Singh you'll find that it just clips the bail not the bail in fact it's Pretty decent hit onto the leg stamp. Empire Hari Haran also didn't quite understand what happened. But you'll definitely see the red light come on. Eight down, India. With quite a bit at that. In the air. Catch it was the call. But it's gone for six. How do you describe that shot? Almost an afterthought, but firmly struck. With the turn, over square leg for six. Yes, both these uh, players strong men. They can hit the ball a long way. Another man moving in on the onside, there's a slip in place as well. 
one day he'll attempt the top spinner that's when he has the slip another man moving to the onside boundary so four men guarding the onside boundary He could be out here. No, I think he's just gone over the rope or has it? One thing's for sure, he's got his 50. Whether it's by a 4 or a 6, nobody knows. In fact, Hari Aaron signals 6 and once again, he's you now after his signal, he wants to know from the fielder, what is it? He's trusting the fielder in that decision. He's confirmed that it's a 6. So that's the first one-day international 50 for Irfan Pathan. I got a good style. Once again, the umpire has got it wrong. Well, he asked the fieldsman twice whether it was a six or a four. And now he has to change his decision once again in this game. Just one piece of advice for Harrier, and I mean, well, he's just a bit too hasty. Just got to take some time before making decisions. It's very simple when you have a doubt you just get on to the walkie-talkie and talk to the TV umpire You don't even need to ask the fielder that used to happen in the past and that never was the right way to do it And that's why the TV umpire came in to make these decisions But 50 for Patan in that over it's 177 for it Clean hit It's clean as a whistle and another massive six tell you these cricket grounds have to get bigger everybody's hitting it into the stands and well into the back rows well he has tried this particular stroke against the leg spinners so many times but this time getting the ball in the right area to play that kind of a stroke Another biggie with the fielder once again being teased on the boundary road. Same result, almost identical to the last one, but this time I think it's a six. Hari Haran will not take a chance. He's on the walkie talkie. Difficult to tell. This will give us a good view. Yeah, clear six. That's how you do it. And now Hari Aaron will make that signal. 203 for eight. Play mark. Ooh. Has troubled quite a few. This is weird way of getting out. He has picked up his fifth wicket. And he is jubilant. And why not? He worked so hard. I think he was destined to get that fifth wicket. Can you imagine? It's a wide ball down the leg side, and this could have come from the back of the bat. Irfan Patan looking to pick up a single. Yeah, it's hit the back of the bat. Kamran Akmal will not get an easier catch in international cricket. Five wickets to Rana Naveed, and India 204 for nine. Well played, Irfan Patan. Well, the ball coming from the back of the hand, and then. And the ball hitting the back of the bat. You don't see very often this kind of a dismissal. But the good thing, Rana Naveed picked up his first five wicket haul in international cricket. Really good. Get runs and the entire side suddenly falls apart. But it looks so competitive. It looks almost unbeatable when Sehwag is on song. He's done it. Six wickets for Rana Naveed. Brilliant performance by him. He kisses the emblem of his country on his shirt. This has been a really spectacular performance. A great team effort by Pakistan. What a comeback.
very exciting stuff from Rana Naveed in this game. It was on the cards. It was just a matter of pitching the ball in the right area. And wicket number six for him was out there for taking. The Pakistan is wrapping it up quite easily. Although there was a big defiance from Irfan Pathan. But the Pakistani captain should be happy with the performance of the team. It was a team effort. Everybody's contributed, bowlers, batsmen and the fieldsmen especially. So it was a very good combined effort from the Pakistani team. Very impressive as well. Well, probably 90% of their homework. They did that today and they won the day. So, Mohammed Sami with a good performance. 2 for 41. But take a look at Rana Naveed, the hero. 8.4, one maiden.